Well, hey guys, in a previous video, we introduced you to the idea of indices, things where we've got a, a base and an index, like x squared has x in the base, 2 is the index. So that introduces us to some laws, what we call index laws, or things we can do when we work mathematically with these. So let's have a look, for example, when I've got x cubed times x squared, or x to the power of 3 times x to the power of 2, you'll notice in the base, they're both x's. In this case, the bases are the same. So for these index laws to work, we have to have the bases the same. If they're different, we couldn't do what we're about to do. So in this case, the bases are the same. So when I multiply these two things together, what do I get? Now, this is going to be the first of our index laws. The base stays the same. That's really important. When the bases are the same here, the base will still be the same in my answer. But the index, I add them. Okay, When I'm multiplying two things that have the same base, I just add the indexes. So my answer will be x to the power of 5, because I add the 3 and the 2. You'll notice the base doesn't change. Okay, So here is the first of our index laws. We call this index law 1. If we multiply terms that have the same base, like these guys do, then we simply add the indexes. That's it. You can stop there and um, and be quite comfortable with using this index law one. But I quickly want to show you sort of why it works. So if you want to understand the why behind it, let's have a quick look and see what's actually going on. X cubed means X times X times X three times. That's what the, the three means. X multiplied three times. Then we've got another time sign. So let's put that back in. And now I've got X squared, which is x times x. So you'll see here when I write out x cubed times x squared, I've got x multiplied five times, which is exactly what we got. We just used the shortcut, which is the index law, instead of writing it all out like this. That's why it works. Let's look at one more example. m to the 12 times m to the power of 17. Big numbers, but the rule still applies. My, uh, my base is the same. They're both m's, so the answer in my base will also be m. That doesn't change. I add the indexes. Because I'm multiplying, I add the indexes. That's what my rule here says. I get m to the power of 29. Guys, that's your introduction to some basic application of index law 1. We've got 4 or 5 that we're going to get through, and we might get a little bit uh, trickier with some of the questions, but the idea is still the same. Good job. Well done.